Hey everyone. So this is my next uh, little project here. Uh, is a uh, non-working PlayStation 4. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys would be smart enough not to tear this apart just for the gold, because uh, the parts uh, are quite valuable and just selling it like this uh, would give you about 300 bucks but let's say you happen to fall on one that's been crushed by something really heavy or a car or something then you could scrap it for gold so let's uh, take this apart and see how everything works so this guy here just slides open like that have a little hard drive here and you'll need uh, some uh, security torque uh, Torx uh, bits uh, and because they're pretty much everywhere this way so there's a few of these screws over here and uh, the funny thing is you could even sell this stuff uh, this plastic stuff uh, for quite a bit uh, if you look around so like I said the only way you should scrap one of these for gold and whatnot is if it's completely totally smashed. <laughs> That's that. And there's a few security tabs here. Sorry about the noise. So if this was something I would have personally bought at a retail store, uh, like Best Buy or something. My warranty would just get voided. Because I just took out the... Uh, the warranty seals. What's that? So, just to show you guys what I just did, there's one, two, three, and four little screws here that are hidden behind these little tabs. And again, there are secur uh, security uh, torque screws which Sony loves to use. And everyone else hates. So there's four of these on the back. You'll pretty much notice them, uh, especially the security ones. Uh, they have some writing on them uh, stating that if it's removed, the, the, the warranty is over. And if you bought a PlayStation 4, you definitely have a warranty for at least a year. Since these are have been out less than a year, you have a warranty. Alright, so now we've got that. Out. And now this just pops out like that. You just pull. Use like a little crack here. Just pull up, and the cover just pops out. Put that on the side. Now we have a few more screws. So we got some uh, Phillips screws over here. Another one over here. Some. Fun security uh, torque screws again. A couple of those. Let's take that stuff out.
else done here? Phillips screws out. So now we're able to remove the power supply once I get it. There you go. So as you can see, we have the PlayStation 4 power supply. Already you can see some copper in there, some aluminum, some little wire here. But again, don't forget, if you get one of these and it's in good condition, even if it's not working, hold on to it it's worth more than scrap value that's for sure let's get this little blu-ray drive cable out and the antenna the Wi-Fi Bluetooth antenna so we got a little piece of steel and a little piece of wire nothing too special okay let's get this blu-ray drive out there are three little small Phillips screws uh, over there. Remove that little piece of steel. And one little screw there. Let's just try to screwdriver there you go that's why I wasn't coming out just found another little security screw over here that has to be removed well, we like hiding these security screws. And Sony is notorious for that. So now, just removed the Blu-ray drive. Got some ribbon with some gold right over there at the tips on each side. Got a little magnet here. Uh, I know the laser contains a little bit of gold. A little green board in here uh, might pass as peripheral. And there you go. And that's the Blu-ray drive. Put that aside. And here we go. Here's another little, I guess, peripheral board. We definitely have, I don't know if you can see.
see that. But we definitely have some gold over there. Some monolithic capacitors. I've talked about those in the past. They um, sell for quite a bit. I recently sold about 12 ounces of those for about 80 bucks. Uh, there's gold in this connector here. Gold in here. You have some uh, IC chips. That's pretty good. Again, some wire. Get to the motherboard. Now you pop this top off. Pretty much the same way you pop the other one off. There you go. Nice and easy. trouble here. There oh, I'm getting it. Almost there. Ooh, there you go. Got that piece of plastic out. Now we're gonna get access to the motherboard. There's a few more security torque screws. Got your little fan here. Heat sink. Almost here, almost on the motherboard, where most of uh, the supposed scrapping will be done. But uh, as mentioned, don't scrap. Do not scrap this board <laughs> or anything on it until uh, you know it's not working. So, we finally made it to the board. So, you can see the processor here. If you look in all these little crevices, it's a bunch of gold in here. Uh, again, you have those very nice big monolithic capacitors that you find on these uh, PlayStation motherboards. Get some nice IC chips. Some gold in the connectors here, HDMI, Ethernet, uh, little hard drive connection, some more gold there, some more gold in here. Overall, uh, quite a bit of valuable stuff. Some more monolithic capacitors here. But like I said, it's working. Do not do anything to this. <laughs> so, um, that's the teardown and uh, imaginary scrapping of this board. Uh, like I said, if you get one of these, unless it's completely totaled, run over by a car, smashed to bits, do not scrap it. Even if it's not working, it's worth two to three hundred bucks. So uh, that's it. If you guys have any questions, comments. Uh, you can uh, check it out below.
and uh, I'll try to answer uh, and reply as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.